let's take a quick look at parameters. So parameters allow us to change one variable and make changes to the overall shape we're looking at. So if we go up here to the Modify tab, and we go down here to where it says Change Parameters, our parameter table comes up. And if I go ahead and I and let me show you the, the original first so you can get a good idea. What I'm going to do is change the 3 here to a 2. And I'll press Enter. And now you can see that the model has changed. I could change this to something else as well. Let's, let's make this one a 5 and press Enter. And now when you look, the model has changed again. So that's what we're up to today. We're going to make some a parameter table and then we're going to make a part that can be adjusted by changing simple parameters. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just start us a new drawing and I'm actually going to go here to the modify tab and I begin with the change parameter table. I'm going to start by hitting the plus sign next to user parameters. I'm going to make one be length so I type the word length in and I'll go ahead and give it a value. I'll say four and I'm going to press the plus again, and this time I'll do width, and I'll make it 4 also. One more, and I'll make it be height. And for right now, I'll just make that 3. We're going to go ahead and make the shell value as well. So I'll type thickness, and underscore, and then wall. And for this, I'll make it 0.125, which is an eighth inch. And I hit OK. From here, I'll go to Create. And I'm going to choose Box. For Box, you have to select a plane you're going to draw in first. I always choose this one. And it says, Place First Corner. So I'm just going to go down here. And I'll start drawing it. But instead of actually applying dimensions, I'll go ahead and type in the word Length. As I start typing, you see it pops up. So I'll just press Enter. And then I'll tab over, and I'll make this one be width. And once I press Enter, I can go ahead and I can drag this out a little bit, or right here, it's already got a value there, so I'm just going to make this one be the height. So I start typing that in and press Enter when it shows up. And I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to go here to Modify. And I'm going to do a shell. And I'll just click the face. And right there is a value again. So this time I'm going to type in thickness wall. And you notice it already has those variables in there for us. So there we go. Now if I want to make some changes, I can go up here to modify. And I'll go down to change parameters. And for right now, because we haven't saved the part yet, I'll just expand this a little bit, and you can see there's the box and there's the shell. So if I expand this box, you can see that the four it got from up here. I'm going to actually change these. So this will be length, and this will be width. And then I'll expand shell is also, and that one's already set. So now what I'm going to do is I'll hit OK on that. And you can see we still have the same shape. I'll go back to the modify and change parameters. But now I'm going to change this to a 2. And as soon as I hit enter, you can see that the shape has changed. Then over here, I'll change this to something else. So maybe make that a 5. And then I can change the height as well. I can play around with these variables as much as I want. I'm actually going to create a new sketch right here on this, and I'm going to put a circle in there. And I'm just going to make the diameter be um, 0.5. So I've made the diameter 0.5. Now I'm going to go up to dimension, or I can do that. I can either go here, or I can just press the D key. I'm going to say from here to here. And I'll make that width divided by 2. And I'll say this one to the center point, the 
this is going to be length divided by 2. And then I'll hit finish sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll extrude this. I can do that by going up here and choosing extrude. Or I can just press the E key. So I'll click that. And then over here, I'm just going to, for the distance, I'm just going to say all. So it's all the way through. So now if I look at the shape and kind of orbit it or rotate it around so you can see it, that's what we have. Now what I'll do is I'll go back to the parameters table. So change parameters under modify. And you can see now the sketch is in here as well. So if I change the length to four, and press enter you can see that that hole is always going to be in the middle if I change the width to let's go with seven and press enter the hole is still in the middle because we set up a, an expression here so we know that every time we do that the width is going to be divided by two the length is going to be divided by two so it's always going to be in the middle now if I want to change the whole diameter itself there's the diameter dimension so I can say, let's make that one. Now I got to be careful on that, though, because if I make these dimensions too small, the hole's not going to work because it's, the shape's not big enough to have that hole in it. So I want to be careful with those numbers. So I'll just go back to make it three by three. And then for height, I can always change that, too. So I could say, you know what, let's make that 0.5. Once I get it the way I want it, I can press OK. And I remember, the nice thing about parameters is I can always go back in there and I can change those to make the shape be however I want it to be.